This is an instrument specifically designed for radiation treatment of tumors above the neck called Zapex. Patients, it's painless and the recovery period is next to zero. Its journey in China begins here at the PLA General Hospital in Beijing. Visually, it looks cool and futuristic, but that's the least important advantage. Can this device really change the fate of Chinese patients? Though I've always been cautious about radiotherapy equipment, this time I decided to have a close look into the big guy. Not out of bravery, but assurances about its almost negligible radiation thanks to its self-shielding system. We're going to ask you just to lie still. That's <laughs> lie all still? the Zapex expects of you. To make sure you don't move too much, mm -hmm. this little mask is going to go around and hold your head reasonably still, not perfectly still. Other technologies actually use screws that go into the skull. We're not going to do that to you. We're just going <laughs> to... I don't want that too. We're just going to limit Under the Under Professor Adler's guidance, I was slowly sent into the instrument. It is powered in. on, but will not emit rays. And as you go in, the machine is going to light up inside. It really felt like a spacecraft to catch you. <laughs> <laughs> the precision radiation beam comes out of that big silver device that's on top of your head. Indeed, I was a little worried before I entered this machine, but now I feel like it's okay. Because through the window, I, I still have connection That's with the right. outside. If I'm a patient, how long will it take for me to take the whole... The treatment? Yeah, the it treatment. It averages about 30 minutes. It could be as little as 10, 15 minutes. Wow. It could be as much as an hour. Yeah, to get rid of your brain tumor, it's not too bad because then you can go right home. Go have dinner, get back to life. That's it for a patient. It all sounds too dreamy. Besides, I'm not a patient, but I've got a chance to talk to the medical team involved in the trials. Dr. Pan Longsheng of the Department of Neurology at the PLA General Hospital was the first person who noticed the device and introduced it to China. I met Professor Adler at a global meeting in the United States and talked about a new device he had that was approved by the FDA. I thought that having such a device would be a good news for Chinese patients. The POE General Hospital is the first to conduct the clinical trials with Zepex in China. What are the results of the trials and feedback from patients? We conducted 55 clinical trials at that time, and the treatment's effectiveness after short-term follow-up reached 100%. Patients' reactions are mainly mild, such as headaches, nausea, and hair loss related to radiotherapy. Patients in the trials ranged from 11 to 71 years old. Their conditions were all different. Some had benign tumors smaller than 3 cm in diameter, and some had residual tumor cells after open surgery, which needed radiotherapy as supplementary treatment. Compared with the radiation damage to the tissue surrounding the tumor and even the induction of cancer caused by other radiotherapy equipment, the effects of receiving Zapex radiotherapy are regarded as mild. This is due to its 50% lower radiation energy, than conventional radiotherapy equipment and the increased accuracy enabled by its spherical design. This spherical design shortens the irradiation distance. Because of the short treatment distance, the dose that it needs can be reduced. Rays scatter in the air. The shorter radiation distance, the smaller scattering range, and the better the protection of surrounding normal tissues and organs. Dr. Chu says that the safety advantages of the Zapex's real-time dose monitoring are revolutionary. This function can not only monitor patient movement during X-ray delivery, but also immediately detect any dose errors caused by deviations in the instrument itself. Don't underestimate this. Many medical accidents caused by radiotherapy in history are related to dose errors. Originally, this patient should accept two gray radiation dose today. But in fact, the instrument may have delivered 5 gray, 8 gray, or 10 gray. You don't know because there is no monitoring. Real-time dose monitoring ensures that doctors know at any time if the machine exceeds a normal dose allowable range or operates abnormally. According to official figures, the incidence of malignant brain tumors in China is about 6 in every 100,000 people. For benign brain tumors, the incidence is even higher. 
For Chinese patients and millions of other people around the world who suffer brain tumors, the hope for successful treatment is the same. Professor Eller says what he receives in return from his patients is far greater than what he gives to them. It's the opportunity to work with them to find better ways of treatment and better outcomes. That's the common wish of countless doctors. Liu Jiaxin, CGTN, Beijing.